welcome back to Get The Gloss. So today I'm going to talk to you about a problem that I had recently. Basically, I broke out in loads of tiny spots. Loads and loads and loads of them. And I kept saying to my husband every day, Oh my God, what's happened to my skin? It's gone crazy. And he said, you always say that about having like one tiny spot. And I'm like, no, look, I had, you know, I could count sort of 30 tiny little spots. And they calm down a bit, then they come back again. And I suddenly thought, oh my God, it's my hormones. I thought I might be going through the um, perimenopause. So yeah, it made me wonder if it was that, but I decided, I know from being in this industry, there's no point in trying to tackle it with just things that you buy over the counter or on the shelf or stuff in your bathroom cabinet that you don't know if it works. You need to go to a specialist if you suddenly break out in, in loads of spots and ask them what the hell is going on. So I went to Dr. Sam Bunting, who we use on Get The Gloss a lot. She's an amazing dermatologist and she has solved a lot of my friends' skin issues. And she's a great font of all knowledge when it comes to everything skin. I really, really believe if you want to get results, go and see an expert. Whether it is, we're talking personal training, whether we're talking nutrition, skin, teeth, whatever, go and see an expert and you will get to where you want to go far quicker. Or resolve your problems far quicker. Anyway, so I went to um, Sam and said, oh my God, I'm freaking out. And she basically said, not hormonal, uh, thankfully, it was because I've been using too many different products. To be honest with you, I'm surprised it's the first time this has happened to me. So, you know, so basically over a course of a couple of months, I had looked tons of tiny little spots. And they were all the same size. It wasn't like they were like some big fat white heads. And they were all tiny little ones, but a few little white heads. Sorry, horrible, I know. Without any sort of bumpiness under the skin. So there was none of that sort of bumpiness you see when you look at somebody in the light. It was more like just little tiny white heads. They looked inflamed. There was redness around them. Tons of them. Um, so Sam said I've been using too many products which, being in my job, is something that happens a lot. I use a lot of products, we try our products, and I'll use one thing one week, another thing another week. The products are so alluring, you just want to try them the whole time. They smell amazing, they feel amazing, they make you feel good. Anyway, she said, enough of all that feel good stuff, I've got to go back to basics. So she asked me everything I was using, which was a cocktail of you know, serums, cleansers, whatever I got my hands on that week. And she said, I've got to cut it right back, use really good but basic products that are dermatologically tested, that are non-irritant, that are made for sensitive skin, because the problem was I would sort of inflamed my skin. So I'm just going to tell you the things she recommended if this happens to you. La Roche-Posay is a brand that sort of crosses the line between a dermatology-based brand and just being sold in dermatologists, for example, and being available to the public. So you can get this, pretty sure you can buy it in boots, and it's for anyone with very sensitive skin, skin that's become inflamed, skin that's irritated. It contains no perfume, no preservatives, no parabens, no alcohol, no colour, no scent. It's a great product, but I'll be honest, I'm, I do miss all my nice smelly products, but I'm not allowed to use them at the moment. Sam's told me not to. So I take off my makeup with this. I still remove my eye makeup with Sarah Chapman's eye cleanser. Yeah, and it's like a milky cream, basically. I also miss my wash up cleanser, but hey. Use that morning and night. Then she's given me Phenacea 15% gel. That means it contains 15% azelaic acid. Now, azelaic acid is a naturally occurring acid and uh, it's not suddenly going to peel your face off. Um, it helps calm inflamed skin. It helps zap the bacteria that sort of acne breeds on, but it also is a, an exfoliant. Not in the scrubbing sense, but it exfoliates the dead skin cells so there's not such a build-up on the skin. So you sort of build up using it, because when you first start using it, you, it starts to sting a bit, and then I used it every other day, now I'm using it every day. It seems to be really working, actually. I think this is probably one of the key 
tea products. Okay, and then I've been using this every day. It's a Venn Skin Recovery Cream. This is the rich version, but I, leave, I believe there's a lighter one. It says it's for dry, hypersensitive and irritable skin. non comedogenic so it won't block pores. Hypoallergenic, and it's fragrance-free, alcohol-free, perfume-free, etc, etc, all the same. So it should literally just look after your skin. It's not going to try and change it, it should bring it all back to a level and yeah, just provide no irritants whatsoever. If I was going out in the sun or if it was a bit sunnier, I would also use this product which Sam recommended for me, which is Neostrata Sheer Physical Protection. It has broad spectrum coverage, so UVA and UVB, and it's SPF 50. Brilliant, this product. Now, Neostrata is an amazing dermatology-based brand. Very, very effective, scientifically proven. Dermatologists absolutely love it. I see it in every dermatologist's cupboard. And it's just very effective. This is one thing using nice smelly products, but it's another one using things that really work. And they're guaranteed to work, and then are scientifically proven. So anyway, it's just a very sheer, very light, kind of liquid. It's a liquid, really, so you don't need much of it. But it totally sinks into skin, disappears, doesn't leave a greasy residue, really wonderful. I did look it up because I wondered where you can buy it, because it's normally only available in, as I said, in doctor's offices. But I could find it on Amazon, actually. It's uh, sheer physical protection. Whether it's in date is another matter, so you've got, you must check that. But that's been really great as well. So I just wanted to share that with you. And after a month of using these products, my skin cleared up. It's not totally clear, I've still got a few tiny blemishes, but it's much, much better than it was before. Another thing Sam always tells people to watch out for is their foundation and what they're using and whether it's clogging their pores as well. So please watch out for that. But yeah, she also prescribed me antibiotics, but I was a little bit hesitant to take those because I know they kill all the good bacteria in your, in your gut and I'm just a little bit hesitant about that. So I haven't taken those but it seems to have worked without them. So thank you, Sam. And yeah, if that happens to you, that's my advice. Go see a dermatologist. Bye.